Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we will see how we can write dynamic forms. We have already used a dynamic form field array tag which is actually used to create a dynamically dynamic fields based on array or object array input that we have already seen. Now how we can create a dynamic form where you have a different types like input type select, input type checkbox, input type text, input type email, password. We have, a, we have all sort of things, right? And we have just a JSON as an input. So here like I have this JSON as an input and now somebody asked me to create a form out of it. Like I have a name, email, role is a drop down, email is a text field, name is a text field. Similarly, you can add n number of fields. Like you have a 10 fields, just add 10 fields. So I want all the validation done on each and every field. I want all the proper rendering of each and every field. So here, based on type, it will be a text field, it will be a text field, it will be a drop down. And like there is a drop down and we wanted to render multiple values, then there we are using options tag. So that I can read the options from this object and we will render these in a drop down options, right? So this JSON is an input for me and I will start writing the form, okay? So first thing I will do is I need to construct the form element components like, okay, uh, what I know is in JSX, I will be just looping onto these elements and based on type, I will be rendering input, render text field, render drop down, render email, render checkbox, render radio. These elements I will be calling, right? So first we will design these elements, okay? These elements will be straightforward like we just need to import few things from React Formic. Like Formic as a form component and all. We are going to use error message, use field, use Formic field. Okay, we will use all concepts of Formic either as a higher order component, either as a context, either as a Formic as a component or Formic as a hook. You can see use Formic hook. This is a context with Formic as a higher order component. Okay. So consider that I'm writing first form component, which will be a wrapper of everything. Export function form and here I will access props. Okay, and now what I will return is the form tag. Inside form, I will just render props.children. This will be my parent component and uh, here, I mean, this will be wrapped inside a formic. Okay, so this is my formic and I will wrap it inside a formic and this is a formic form tag. Inside formic, I will be passing all the props using destructuring. Okay, all the props which is passed, okay. Similarly, this is a root form, the parent component, which we have. Now, we can write something for the text field. What will change here is, here instead of rendering the form and formic, we will be rendering only field property. Okay, and from the props, we will get some properties first. What properties we can get is the name. label all these properties which we need placeholder if we have and rest all properties from the props we are doing restructuring we got all properties now here we will be rendering the field tag before that we can actually show some kind of label right if we are getting label property from uh, the props then we can just show this in the label tag label a this is label for this particular tag label i'm printing for name and i will just close this and label and here i will put label property okay why it is complaining okay yeah we need to actually wrap it inside parent one and it's defined now here actually we will render the field tag right in this field tag we will specify all, all other attributes 
like if you have a passing class name I will put our coded for now form control okay other properties are like type because we already specify I'm writing a text field right so input type will be text name will be I'm already getting name property and placeholder I'm getting so if I'm getting placeholder from the props otherwise I will initialize with empty and rest of the properties rest of the props properties and here I will close it so this is my text field similarly I will create another component another function to render select so here I am creating all these field components select also I will get name label there is one more property options name label options and rest of the properties and same thing I will check label is there then print label and this is the field here the only thing will change for uh, for select boxes the component name will come which will be select okay class name is fine and now here name is fine type we don't need we can just provide ID if we are getting select ID name ID name and placeholder doesn't apply for select box rest all properties we don't have and here we will just render options okay so options will be like first option will be empty what I will say here is choose and the rest of the options I will be just iterating on to the options array which I got so this is my select box options index options value and label if label is not coming then I will show the value in the label property so this is my select field right and then finally I have a submit button so I just have a few things like input type text field input type so if you have input type email what will change here this type property will change here type will be input type email if you have something else input type password right so these properties will change only if you wanted to render other things okay okay here we have input type text fields and select and similarly we can have submit button also submit button will uh, be a little bit different let's see export function submit button here we will be accessing the context to check if form is getting submitted or not and here we will get the title and rest all properties from the props and we will be using we will be accessing context to get its submitting property because whenever the form is getting submitted we can actually play around with the form form submit button showing the loading or something use form context and what we are returning is just a button where we will set button disable whenever the form is getting submitted okay and we can also change the value input type submit title title we are getting so if it's submitting is happening title can be changed to loading otherwise default title okay so we have created these form elements in this video in the next video we will just match all these form elements with the, the main render function. Okay, let's see that in the part 2.